When we talk about education, we humans don't necessarily think about the same thing. For example, education might be for Finn just another part of life, because Finland has one of the highest educative standards. But we should note that education is almost as diverse as people throughout the different countries in the world. But education might as well be a completely alien term for someone in Mexico. ¿Usted hasta dónde espera que llegue su niño de educación? Ay, pues esperemos que llegue lejos. Dígame, ¿para usted qué es la educación? Pues es algo muy importante para que tengan un buen futuro ellos. Omarison <laughs> once said that education not only translates into a rise of income. The schools today determine the future shape and identity of whole countries. How in this globalized world do we address that issue? How far does the quality and quantity of education in a country actually translate into people's well-being and progress? We have witnessed in the recent financial crisis very well-educated countries having strong unemployment issues. About 20% of unemployment in the recent year. Is it a problem of skills? What did go wrong? Who is to blame? If we have learned something about this crisis, is that we still have a long way to go in educational matters. Be it to narrow the huge gap between countries, or be it to actually translate education into progress. There is so much to be done, that it might feel like a cumbersome and long road to walk. But we're not at dusk, we are done. The most developed countries in the world have to foster progress through education in the less developed ones. And the less developed ones have to fight for more education, for a better education, for better governments and better policies. For it's the only way to achieve progress. But it's us, the youth, that have the futures of each one of our countries in our hands. And we should take on the lead working to make this world each day a better place.